Got it. It's recording. Did you hear that? Oh, it's, this meeting is being recorded. Continue. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good. Mo, I forgot your wife's name. I'm so sorry. Linda. Linda. I knew it. I sorry, Linda. I read. I knew it was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, she's she's going. Good? <laughs> yeah. You look good. <laughs> Hanging in there. You too. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, we're recording now. So uh yeah, thanks for uh letting for coming on and doing the bit of a testimonial mo. Yeah, no problem. I'll uh so I'll just preface this by saying uh, this is a testimonial for Mac Network, um, Musculoskeletal Accountable Care Network. And uh, I saw Mo in uh, 2019 and um, we had pretty good success uh, with the uh, Outcomes Accountable Care System, which is the precision diagnostic methodology that we use at Musculoskeletal Accountable Care Network or Mac Network. And uh, Mo, I'll just ask you some questions here just so people can get your story and just hear, uh, hear about the success that you've had. Um, so Mo, I'll just ask you, uh, before you met me and before you started with uh, the MAC network, um, what, what were you doing before us and, and what did you try for your, uh, for your, I should probably explain a little bit about your case. So you had shoulder pain for a long time, uh, right side shoulder pain. And uh, so what did you try before for your shoulder pain? Uh, I went to two previous physiotherapists and um, my family doctor and my family doctor um, sent me for tests. I think I've had uh, a CT scan, MRI, ultrasound, and uh, ultimately uh, almost had surgery. I actually was hooked up to the IV and uh, they canceled the surgery due to my neck. And um, after that, um, I was in a lot of pain for a long time. Uh, you know, this, my shoulder started probably uh, two decades ago um, with pain and increasing pain. And I believe that was probably uh, mostly job related, but also some injuries on top of that. And I also had, uh, I don't know, probably three, four or more cortisone shots, which didn't help. And um, was at a loss. Uh, eventually, I went to my second physiotherapist who had some marginal success, uh, a little bit of relief, but not, uh, not complete relief that I got uh, later on with you. Um, and taking a lot of pain med medication uh, and lots of it, uh, tramadol, uh, Tylenol, uh, you name it. Uh, you know, we've, I, we've been down that road. So uh, now I'm free of that. I don't take any, rarely take any pain medication. And uh, I think I've got pretty good control over uh, um, my, my pain and, uh, strength actually i think when i met you i had very poor strength on my right side yep. which uh, now is pretty much completely uh, returned there's some little, little bit i wouldn't say that's a hundred percent but uh we've come a long way 90 90 plus percent anyway yep yeah, yeah so uh what were you doing with the uh, physiotherapy like what was your what was your physiotherapy program um before you came and saw me and and when was that that you were doing the physio so um it was um i think it was after i retired um things got worse uh there was no improvement and i went to a physiotherapist but it was kind of uh hit and miss i was kind of given probably uh maybe six or eight exercises that never really fully I, and there was like I said some marginal improvement there but uh, certainly not not to what uh, the success, success we had for sure yeah so um, you know those uh, 
yeah, those exercises, I really wasn't sure, you know, like which ones I should be doing or not doing. There was no, like, there was no definite improvement off of any one of them, to tell you the yeah. truth. What, what type of exercises and uh, was it shoulder exercises and uh, strengthening and stretching or what? Yes, uh, some, uh, that's right. They would give me uh, probably like two, three exercises to go home and try, you know, and I would do that and come back and, you know, there wasn't really... Uh, any improvement off of that. Yeah. And uh, mo mostly just targeting the shoulder area, just, just the strengthening and, and stretching. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did anybody look at your neck, uh, screen the neck and, and look for the source of the problem coming from there? Um, well, the first physiotherapist I went to, um, I had gone to him for my low back and asked him to look at my shoulder. And uh, I heard hurt my back, uh, well, almost 12 years ago. Well, it was actually 12 years ago. And he helped me with that, but not, not completely. <laughs> um, it was kind of, I had to keep going back once a month to get treatment. Yeah. And uh, so I asked him to look at my shoulder, but uh, he gave me one or two stretching exercises and basically said, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. And then talking with some family friends, I went to the next next guy who did, a, I think, a, a pretty good assessment. Uh, at the time, I thought, it, you know, I was going to get some help. And I did get, a, like I said, I did get some marginal improvement, but not, not what uh, we went through for sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, well, so, and, and um, all right, what, what, what did you, what sort of clicked with you with um, what we talked about in, in our approach? And uh, what was like the first, or what was the, the big win or the big uh, result that you got? Well, the big result I got was that, uh, well, first of all, when you, when you talked about your troubleshooting process, you know, I was all in on that. Like you had me convinced, I thought, finally I'm talking to somebody who can, is going to diagnose my problem um, in a methodical way, instead of throwing, you know, exercises or possible solutions to the problem uh, yeah. at me. And then that's, once we went through that, you know, what you described to me, um, I thought, okay, this is, you know, this is going to work. And then we went through each time and we found the exercises that actually made an improvement. Uh, on on my shoulder and my neck and my low back actually fixed all three of yeah my yeah look yeah looking at the uh those, yeah. those were separate problems the uh, the low back we looked at separately the first yeah. time i saw you was the shoulder my neck. Where, and where was the pain just so we can uh, get a better visual where you were feeling it well you know what it's uh when i saw you the pain was all over my shoulder and uh, between my shoulder blades. It was um, it was really kind of hard to hard to say right off the beginning. As as things improved, I think it became a little bit more localized. Yeah. Separate the neck from my shoulder and my low back. Yeah. Uh, because my neck and you remember my neck and low back, they were kind of like my. It was hard for me to tell the difference between the two at times. Sometimes I was in so much pain, it was I didn't know you know, who was there, what was causing the problem. Yeah. But, um, with my neck, when you, when you helped me with my neck, uh, that pain dropped. I mean, I saw you on a Thursday. The very first time I saw you was on a Thursday. And I remember this like it was yesterday that after I left you, I actually stopped off at Treadmill Factory to, to look and see and get these massage balls and went home, this is Thursday night, started that routine. And by Saturday morning, um, I told my wife, I said, Linda, this is about noon. Because I had been doing them every hour, every waking hour I was doing these exercises. And I said, to Linda, my pain is gone. Like it, it had, it's like pouring water out of a glass. It just dropped off, right? And I, yeah. I and, that and this is the Saturday pain. night. This is the pain you've had for 20 years, right? The same pain. Well, I hurt my neck when I was 22 and I'm now almost 62. So I had that pain for 40 years in my neck. And uh, 
So that dropped off immediately. The, the shoulder pain, it took us, a, I think, a, quite a bit longer to uh, zero in on that. Um, yeah. But once, once we did zero in on that and I was doing the exercises you told me to do, it took a, and I remember you saying it could take 10, 12, maybe even a little, little bit longer uh, weeks to uh, rehabilitate it. Yeah. Which it took me a bit longer because I remember, I believe it was right after Christmas, Christmas, New Year's, I kind of overdid it and I hurt my shoulder. So it set me back. Um, yeah. But, uh, it did come back. And, um, you know, as our, as our last meeting, you tested my strength and it was, you know, completely different. Uh, I could barely, barely move when you tested me. Yeah. Uh, the first time compared to my last visit with you, the last checkup we had was, uh, quite a bit of significant yeah. change. Yeah. So then, uh, well, just to reiterate that, so that I said, when I saw you on the Thursday, um, you know, we were talking about you had the pain up in your neck and your shoulder. Yeah. And then um, we talked about the troubleshooting method where, you know, we were going to use particular strategies, particular movements as diagnostic tests to sort out where the source of the problem was coming from and then attack the source. And uh, I, I remember drawing out a, a bit of a, a bit of a diagram where, right. You know, I, I kind of took your history and then we mapped out some of the possibilities of what could have been causing the problem. And I started you off looking for one of the more simple, you know, solutions to people's problems, which we've, you know, through our system where we've collected data, we all have over a million data points now coming in with individuals like yourself. I knew from that data that there was a large percent chance, about 80% chance that you were in this category of individuals that had pain referring from the, the neck. And, and if that was the case, if you did fit into that category, it would take one, sometimes two, but mostly one particular exercise that can relieve the bulk of someone's pain. Do you remember me talking to you about that, uh, going through that spiel? Oh, absolutely. That's where you, you know, I mean, I, you had me hook, line and sinker there with that, you know, the way you were going to troubleshoot this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause we even had a discussion as to, you know, that's how we troubleshoot troubleshoot at work. And, you know, it's not enough to know uh, how a system works, but you also have to know it's failure modes. And that's really where you zeroed in there on, uh, you know, we're going to look at, you know, the, the low hanging fruit first, which, you know, that first shot with my neck, that's where it was. And it was one visit and one exercise. And by the next Tuesday, I said, you know, problem is solved. I was, I was done. I, I remember going and seeing my doctor, uh, Dr. Kutzer, and I told him, I said, you know, this is, you can take me off uh, my tramadol because I don't need it anymore. And yeah my pain meds dropped off. Um, I'm now, I don't take any of that now and I don't take any sleeping meds because I've been, since my surgery on my neck, uh, had been taking uh, sleeping medication because I just could not sleep with the pain in my neck and combined with my shoulder, um, you know, especially while I was working was, uh, was pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you, so you had, uh, yeah, because I remember that too. That was well, the bulk of the problem had been significantly, well, had decreased significantly by the time I saw you from the Thursday to the Tuesday, and that was the uh, you went you bought those massage balls to then uh, use as like a fulcrum to to get your uh, neck moving in that in that direction, and then using those you, we targeted that area um, because. Uh, should also clarify, Mo has a C2, is it C2 to C7 fusion? Uh, three to seven. Three to seven. C three to seven. Five of them are fused. Yeah. Yeah. Five level, five vertebrae fusion from a previous um, uh, spinal cord injury um, or spinal cord irritation that was causing some other symptoms. And so that was the surgery that kept you away from, or kept you at, or put you at a high risk from getting a shoulder surgery 
And that was uh, sort of what was maybe deemed as uh, the most likely cause for the shoulder irritation that you were experiencing at the time, right? Yeah. And that was in 2016 that you were getting, we were considering uh, the surgery or was it 2017? For my shoulder? Yeah. My neck. I had the uh, surgery on my neck in 2013. Yeah. And, uh, and that didn't have any effect on your shoulder pain that you were experiencing because your shoulder was there before that. Yes, both actually both were there. I mean, you know, I, I, I view my, my shoulder as kind of a, a work related uh, uh, problem. And I know a lot of the guys, uh, electricians that I work with have shoulder issues. There's not too many guys I don't talk to where they don't have problems with their shoulders. Um, and other joints as well, but uh, um, the shoulder issue had been creeping up for literally decades uh, compared to my neck, which kind of was the same thing too, but it it came to a head uh, before my shoulder. And um, as a result, uh, you know, I couldn't sleep on my, couldn't sleep on my right side at all. It's just no, you know, it's just not not possible to do that. Yeah. And so the surgery that that cervical fusion surgery, though, that was unrelated. That was for a, a neurological nerve issue. And yeah. um, so you had that, but then there was no significant change in the pre-existing uh, neck and shoulder pain after that. Yeah. So, uh, well, after my after my neck surgery, I mean, a lot of my pain disappeared that was associated with that but I still had post-surgery uh, problems with the, with the muscles up in my shoulders there. I think it seems, uh, I don't know if this is an accurate way of saying it, but uh, things had changed back there. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if that's the result of the surgery, or if that's common with that kind of surgery, but um, it, fixed, it fixed the majority of the problems that I was having as a result of my spinal cord. Yeah. Uh, but, I ended up getting a lot of pain on on my upper right side and that kind of tied in with my shoulder as well yeah. so you know you separated the two of them and fixed them fixed them both yeah yeah so i guess what i was trying to get to was we were we isolated that area below the fusion so we didn't mess around with anything that was up up in that fusion yeah. area but just below that the segments that were um uh that we were targeting uh that's where we were applying the, uh, the force. So we were applying the load. And then yeah. uh, that's where we honed in on our first diagnostic test uh, based on the information that you gave me. And uh, that was what, and so you're pretty convinced that that particular uh, movement uh, or strategy that we employed on that first visit, that was the cause that led to the effect, which was the significant reduction in your pain. Absolutely. There's absolutely, there's no question in my mind that that's the case. It happened very, it's, it's exactly what you described and what you were looking for was uh, doing this uh, exercise and having a rapid decrease in pain. Um, like I, I was shocked. I was, I was actually, you know, calling Linda and saying, Linda, I'm like, you know, I, I couldn't believe this. My pain is gone. It was, and I'll tell you that, that Saturday night, was the first night I had slept in a long, long, like years, many, many years as a result of that. Wow. Yeah, there's, a, there's no question that that exercise did it because that's the only thing I was doing. Uh, yeah. there was no, I wasn't doing anything else, any other exercises uh, to have an effect on that. It was the only thing I did. Yeah, and that, that was part of the process, too. I wanted you to keep every other variable the same. Let's just do this one thing. Let's do it properly. And let's, let's figure out what, what is the effect? What, what happens as a result of that? And yeah. I would, agree. I would agree. I think it was the exercise that did it. And it wasn't just a chance occurrence after uh, 20 years of suffering from the pain. So, Well, no, no. And the, the proof of it is that I know that when I overdo it, I can go and do these exercises at, at the frequency that I think I need to do them and my pain goes away. So that's not, this isn't just a one shot deal that, you know, this happened once this has happened 
uh, what are we talking here now? Uh, two, two plus years, two and a half years yep. um, that I've gone through this. And like I said, you know, when I overdo it, I know, okay, you know, I got to hit these exercises a little bit more because I do them first thing in the morning when I get out of bed, before I come down and have my coffee, I do these exercises. And before I go to bed at night, I do them again. Those are the two primary times that I do them. And if I need to, I do them throughout the day. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I know I can control my, my level of pain. Uh, so, so uh, Mo, yeah. Well, I've got, I've got two more questions here. Well, when, um, that exercise that I gave you off the first one, right? Just that one exercise. Um, how, how long did that take you to complete and how much of a, how much did that interfere with your, with your life? Um, it took me, well, actually, you know what, it actually, it feels really good when I do it. So I probably do it maybe a little bit more than, uh, than necessary because I actually go a little further down my back and go quite a bit further down, probably, uh, you know, a foot down my back, but I would say uh, maybe four minutes of that. And then uh, that's the one I use, the, the peanut shaped uh, 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 massage ball. And then I have a harder one. It's like an Indian rubber ball, very hard that I, that I use uh, as well. Yeah. So I would say maybe, maybe four minutes in the morning, four minutes at night. Uh, for that particular exercise, I do I do the other ones for my low back yep. as well. But um, so, you, so it's a pretty good return on investment, you know, eight minutes a day <laughs> for a couple of uh, a couple of days for a pretty dramatic improvement in your pain. Eight minutes a day, and uh, I mean, from the initial time we did it, I was doing it every hour for about four or five minutes. But the actual outside outside of the cost. Uh, investment was uh, eleven dollars and thirty cents for that massage ball. So, yeah, and, and probably what uh, my my what was I charging at that time? I don't know, ninety bucks, hundred bucks for the assessment that I saw you, and then you went. I think it was ninety. Uh, ninety bucks, yep. Yeah. Uh, and then um, seventy and for the follow up. Seventy for follow up, yep. So a couple hundred bucks, and then uh, an eleven dollar ball. Um, or lacrosse balls that you bought at the treadmill factory. Um, pretty good. What do you think you spent on uh, your physiotherapy care prior to this? Oh, uh, in total? In total. In all, in all, the, all the physiotherapy that I've gone through? Yeah. Uh, well, I would say probably uh, anywhere probably four or five thousand dollars yeah i know when i went to the one i think we had hit uh 1300 uh when i went for my shoulder and then the first guy i saw um i was going there a couple times a week from you know from my low because i had a low back injury um, but i had seen him for for years so i yeah it's in definitely in the thousands, four or five thousand dollars, which I don't have coverage for either. So right. that was that was all out of pocket yeah. uh, for me. So it's not like you know you can go and say, well, it works or it doesn't work, and I'm no yeah. worse. <clears throat> where yeah, that. and and uh, yeah, not not to mention the costs of uh, accumulated costs to the healthcare system for repeat MRIs and uh, ultrasounds to your shoulder and cortisone injections and um, canceled uh, surgery. Yeah. That, uh, I would, I mean, I would argue likely wouldn't have solved your problem. Probably not. It, you know, uh, it kind of scared me when, uh, when they canceled it. Uh, and I had said numerous times, prior to the surgery that I was concerned with my neck and um, it was the anesthesiologist who actually stopped it. He said he wouldn't, he said I was at too high a risk. So um, I was kind of glad he did. Uh, and in the end, this worked out. And I mean, obviously I didn't need surgery. It's, 
you know, it's clear, it's clear to me that this is a much, much better and much more cost-effective solution. Because I, I remember going to Sarnia for an MRI and when I got to the surgeon, he says, no, nah, I can't use this. So that MRI, I don't know what it costs to put an MRI, uh, you know, do an MRI. Um, but, you know, my time there and back to Sarnia, only to find out that it was a useless MRI that somebody else may have needed to get a useful MRI out of. Yeah. So, you know, mine was, mine was of no use and somebody didn't get theirs in a timely manner. Yeah. And that's just one MRI. I mean, I had ultrasounds, uh, CT scan, I believe I had on it. Uh, so, yeah. And a canceled surgery, whatever that costs. Yeah. That's um, major, major, major. Yeah. Minimum. Yeah. It was a costly, uh, it was a costly injury. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but I mean, that's what we're trying to do is make sure we get people, you know, down the right diagnostic path right away, pick, pluck that low hanging flip fruit, which, um, is much more common than anybody thinks, uh, well, much more common than the majority of, um, people think and the majority of, uh, um, professionals in the, uh, musculoskeletal space. So, um, well, anyway, um, last thing um well actually yeah i think no you know what i think i told i think i said two questions like three questions ago now so that's all right I, have, I think i have two questions here okay uh so how did you originally get in touch with me and then um what what made you pull the trigger and decide that you were going to go through with uh, this approach well uh, so my family doctor uh daniel cruiser dr daniel cruiser sent me to you and uh I said to him, you know, doctor, I said, I've been through already two physiotherapists and uh, I said, I really haven't had, you know, I, I kind of not completely lost faith, but thought, well, you know what, I'll go, but I, I wasn't expecting anything different than what I'd already seen. And uh And it worked like it worked out. So, uh, you know, we went and we tried it. And uh, when you went through your description of troubleshooting, like I said uh, to you at the time, you know, I was all in. You had me hook, line, and sinker, the way you described how you were going to troubleshoot this. Um, you know, and we had, we talked, I think, quite a bit about the troubleshooting method and how I, you're the first guy actually in the medical profession that has actually done any kind of troubleshooting like this in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I was, I was I remember, Yeah. Yeah. We worked together um, because I, I needed your help and I needed you to provide me with a lot of the answers. Um, so, you know, we, yeah, remember we were, and it's like that with every patient, I, I, we have to team up and we have to collaborate together to be able to, figure it out yeah well to you know again it's in a it's in a, a a much better method you know there's really no drugs involved in it it's uh it's not here take a pill and we'll see in a couple of weeks or a couple of months see if it works um there is a time investment you know the, the person that needs the therapy actually has to to put the time in it but i think after a while when people are in so much pain they're willing to try it um and and it works. And what's great about it is that I know what to do to fix it. If I do have a problem and I do overdo it, which I'm pretty active uh, still. So uh, it's actually changed, changed my life because uh, I was in so much pain. Uh, and like I had talked to Dr. Kreutzer, uh, when you're in that kind of pain for that length of time, it changes your personality, it changes who you are. And it's not a and it's not a good it's not a good thing you know yeah actually uh it changed my life for the better there's no question about it yeah yeah, yeah so. that's great yeah and uh you, you could you could do it on your own so you didn't have to see me all the time and uh you know that yeah. that's one of the more rewarding things i think about this process is that we're empowering people like yourself 
to uh, understand the condition, first of all, um, and then uh, figure out what's the strategy to then resolve it, reverse it, and maintain function. So how are you doing with your function now? What, what are you doing now that you couldn't, that you weren't able to do before? Well, there's not too much I can't do. Um, you know, I do, I wasn't, I was actually kind of concerned, you know, I was feeling kind of depressed about not being able to pursue my hobbies. And, uh, you know, when I retired, Linda and I wanted to, uh, you know, be more active and get into kayaking and all this other stuff. And we can do that now, uh, which, you know, before the question was, uh, I, you know, what kind of retirement am I going to have? What am I going to be able to do, be able to work, you know, maybe pursue my hobby for an hour a day or an hour every other day, which wasn't, wasn't satisfactory for me. Um, but like I said, it's been a life-changing experience. There's no question about that. I, I went to Ottawa to visit my son. I was feeling so good that we took our bikes up there and uh, we biked for, well, my son was living in the Pian and we biked all the way to uh, the 417. I think we probably did about uh, 16 or 18 kilometers on our bike, which I haven't done in decades. And I was still, I still told my son, I said, you know what? Linda was getting tired, so we stopped, but I could have done another 10K easily. We had a great day and at the end of it, I felt great. And uh, even my son was surprised. Uh, at it so that's the kind of thing we want to do and to have an active and uh fun retirement yeah and that's what's happening so and i remember you were saying push-ups were an issue before too right you were yeah i think you were able to do a push-up was it right after the first uh first few days after i saw you or I, how so because I, I remember you said uh that yeah. blew me away too when you said i could do i'm doing a push-up again i haven't done that decades yeah so what happened was my uh my buddy who i worked with for 30 years uh, he went on this push-up routine so i thought you know what i'm going to give this a try too and uh started off really slowly doing them off my knees and we had been doing yoga together as well uh, that stopped since covid but uh so i started off slowly and then uh i think i was hitting uh uh I think at one point I hit 180 in one day. So I was doing sets of uh, 25 uh, at a time. How, how, soon, how soon after I saw you? So with my shoulder, I, I remember because I specifically hurt my shoulder last August and I saw you in September. And that happened uh, um, in, the, in the winter time. That started in the winter time. So once my shoulder had been uh, rehabilitated uh, that started uh, yeah that winter so not this past winter the one before uh, was when that happened so uh, yeah 20 uh what was that 20 winter of 2020 yeah but i saw you in 2019 and uh were you doing push-ups before uh mm. after our first visit no i couldn't do that i couldn't uh -oh. do that yeah, so the second time I saw you was because I had hurt my shoulder, actually. The second day. Oh, yeah. Well, um, right. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, so the I, first I, I, time, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, uh, it's kind of, um, there's a, yeah, like all three of my problems have kind of messed up that I think our timelines here. And that is uh, prior to my neck being solved, I couldn't really do too much. I was doing exercising, um, but then things improved with my neck so much that I thought, oh, you know, I'm, I was getting in actually quite good shape by, uh, what was it, May, June uh, yeah. of summer. And uh, that's when my buddy started this. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'll join him and we'll do it together. and. Uh, it worked out. And then I, once I hurt myself again, that following August, I uh, was so happy to be in good shape that uh, I kind of backed off, you know, this is a kind of a, a, a lesson because I was so excited to get outside 
you know, and having worked in a factory for 42 years, uh, being outside and having that freedom to go outside was great. So I kind of backed off my exercises and that was, you know, to my own detriment. Um, and I felt good, but once again, it's a maintenance thing. You know, you got to, you have to continue to do this. It's, uh, uh, anyways, I, I didn't do that. I hurt my shoulder and that's when we did the shoulder bit, but yeah, as far as the push up. Yeah, kind of a separate, which it was a little different the second time when you, when you injured it. And, and we went through the same process again. And that's we, right. We came to a different conclusion. Uh, so that, and that was more related to a trauma that you had from uh, <clears throat> yanking the shoulder back from something. That's right. Using some kind of power tool. Yes, I was using a, uh, a belt grinder. I was actually helping my my nephew uh, put some solar panels on this uh, truck. So uh, that was... Which, uh, I mean, that's life. Like, that it, happens. It yeah. happens. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, but I think you got that, uh, we, we got that value um, from, from that first time with, with the neck slash shoulder, you know, area where, where you had that good response with that with the extensions and then uh, you were doing a lot of things that you couldn't do before sleeping got better. Um, Fewer meds. Yeah. You took, you went off the medications and, yeah. and you were doing things. <clears throat> so after that one, you, you were doing some things there that you hadn't been doing before now that the pain intensity had decreased. That's right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when I, when I re I retired in December of uh, 19, and my shoulder up and up between my neck and my shoulder, that trapezius muscle there, um, I went to a uh, massage therapist and she'd been doing this for I think 22, 21, 22 years. And uh, she, was, she was pushing up here on my shoulder and it was, it was hard like a, it was hard as, as a rock. She couldn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, she got some movement in it, but you know, it's like I said to Dr. Kutzer and even my doctor before him, massage therapy is good, but I, you know, I can't afford to go there every day and I can't afford the time or the money to, you know, to do that. Well, and that wasn't, and, and your problem wasn't muscular. I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was, that wasn't the correct, uh, yeah. not, not that it wasn't the correct treatment, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't getting to the source of the problem. That's right. And efficiently. Um, okay. That's good, Mo. I think we got, I think we got the story and, uh, thanks for doing that. Um, one more thing though, if, if, if you could say something, uh, to somebody who's just watching this, uh, that's thinking about, you know, they've had this problem because we're actually trying to get to people like yourself who have tried a lot of different things. They've tried physiotherapy, they've tried massage and injections and things like that. If you could say one thing to them, what, what would you say if they, to, to somebody who's thinking about um, using this process? Well, you have to try it, you know. Um, I think the, the proof is that, uh, you know, I've all, I think I've sent a couple of people to you as well, right? Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's unlike any physiotherapy I've had uh, before. And, um, it works. It's all, you know, that's all there is to it. it, it there's no question about it, that it, it does work. Um, and unfortunately, I think there's probably not enough physiotherapists that are trained the way you're trained to uh, troubleshoot. I think that's, you know, certainly this has to be, uh, you know, brought out in the open and, um, people who are sympathetic in the medical medical community need to get on board with this because um, it, it's, it's the way to go, you know? I mean, and it's like you said, when you laid it out, you know, there was, I think it was a 40 or 50% chance that, you know, your problem might be in this area. And then there was like a 20% chance and a tendencies and there's an inconclusive part that I may not be able to fix, but that's the process to go through before seeing and going through all the imaging and seeing all the doctors and wasting their time and it's precious time and precious resources. Yeah. Uh, 
when something is simple to fix. I shouldn't say simple, but maybe um, not as expensive. It's not as simple. I shouldn't, that's the wrong, I guess the wrong way of saying a simple fix, but. Um, well, it was, I mean, through the proper it diagnostic. Yeah, diagnostic. yeah. And I mean, and at the end of the day, it wasn't, it wasn't complicated. The, um, I, I mean, the complication comes in the uh, understanding this diagnostic algorithm and, and, you know, I, I put in the time to really study this and understand. And, and we've, we've gathered the data from uh, so many cases now that we are able to give people these percentages and say, yeah, we, we, have the con we have confidence that, you know, we do test X, Y, and Z and, and we can rule this category out. Then your percentage of falling here becomes this. And, and so, yeah, so we walked you down that pathway and, uh, and uh, yeah, I agree. It, it's, uh, it is a very simple process an inexpensive process that should be on the front end of musculoskeletal assessments across disciplines, not just in physio, but, you know, physicians and, and surgeons and massage therapists and chiropractors. I mean, everyone should know about this. Uh, and most importantly, patients, people with these problems should know about this yeah. um, <clears throat> because it's pretty common. And so, yeah. So, uh, I'm glad that we uh, I'm glad that we met Mo and yeah I, I've enjoyed talking to you and chatting with you about troubleshooting and learning about uh, electrical systems and things like that. So yeah, well, the you know, my my brother and I have talked about this often, and um, I think that like we've talked about, um, you know. You're troubleshooting a, the human body where I worked on machines, but I think there's a lot of common elements in troubleshooting. And I know, uh, like we had talked about troubleshooting and in, in welding, um, there is a hundred year history in welding and there's a lot of data um, that's been provided over the years to say that there's a problems in, in a certain 70% of the problems are in one area. So why would you look somewhere else? You know, yeah. the other ones are the ones that are last resort. And, uh, you know, it was very quick. Like, you know, like, I, I mean, if people could have their problems solved from, from a Thursday to a Saturday, like that major, major pain problems. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's, you know, I think the, the community at large would be shocked to say that this happened this quickly. Yeah. And there's people that are out there like me that have been in pain for decades who suffer and there's no, you know, there's no relief in sight. Yeah. To find out that it could get fixed, possibly, you know, within that time time frame or even my shoulder, it took us what, uh, maybe two and a half months to finally get that straightened down to those couple of yeah. exercises. Yeah, that second, that second uh, irritation, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not to mention that you fixed my low back as well in, uh, I think, one exercise oh. as well, right? Yeah, that was the one exercise fix too, yeah, which is, another, which is the subject of another testimonial because we're already yeah. at court. I knew this was going to happen, Mo. We're going to start talking uh, <laughs> too long for the video. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's 45 minutes already. I think we're. I think I said at the start it's going to be 15 30. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well all right well thanks a lot for doing this and like i really hope this inspires other people to uh take some action and uh test us out yeah for sure brent yeah if i can help anytime let me know uh you know let's get this uh hopefully i can help you out and you can push this forward to uh help out uh not just me but thousands of others Yep, yep. We'll get the message out there for sure. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks a lot. I'm just going to stop. Recording. Okay.